All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to this vlog. Here to talk about pick number 26 of this year's draft, belonging to the Baltimore Ravens. Now, Baltimore went 10 and 6 last season. Another good run last year, winning in the wild card against rival the Pittsburgh Steelers, then losing close to my New England Patriots, 35 to 31. They're gonna have to make a run for their money this upcoming year, particularly in the NFC North and the AFC North division, because that is gonna be a close race coming towards the end of the year and Baltimore is trying to reach back to the playoffs for 2015. Now let's talk about what they can use on both sides of the field. Offensively, even though they did um, re-sign Justin Forsett to a good um, contract, I believe it was three years, I think they could still use a number two running back behind Justin Forsett who could possibly be, be part of a great tandem with Forsett either in rounds two or or three and obviously obviously they're gonna have to use a wide receiver they no longer have toy smith he is with my san francisco 49ers and i think that's gonna be a good addition for san fran but they're gonna have to use a good player to replace toy smith and i know they're not going to be dependent on um steve smith to lead the team now he did lead the team last season with over a thousand yards just over a thousand yards but he is um in his mid-30s and they're gonna have to good look for a number one receiver a number one target target for Joe Flacco. Now on the defensive side, the biggest concern is at cornerback. I think they need to use another cornerback opposite of Jimmy Smith to help out the pass de defense. They've been depending more on their linebackers, C.J. Mosley and Daryl Smith to even drop back in coverage. I think this is a great linebacking core. I just mentioned those two, but they also have Terrell Suggs and um, Elvis Dumerville, the pass rushers. I think they have a great solid, uh, one of the best linebacking cores in the league, but they could use a good player in the secondary with um Jimmy Smith as well as Matt Elam. But I think the debate is, is between um cornerback and wide receiver. But I'm thinking they're gonna address the wide receiver first. And Nelson Aguilar out of USC is my guy. I think he had a stellar career as a Trojan. He will be a great key addition for that receiving core who is definitely in drought and in death dire need for wide receiver over cornerback because on the defensive side and for over the many years for Baltimore they had a solid defense so they're gonna have to dress offensive first at wide receiver and Nelson Aguilar is my guy now the next time to catch you guys will be on Tuesday where I will talk about the remaining picks for the first round of this year's draft thank you for watching today's blogs I'm your man Akeem McCall BEC.